Welcome to the Big Dave Podcast. Friday morning, one of our uh, favorite days of the week. Not only because the weekend is coming and it's going to be like summer, you know, yeah. highs up around 90 each day, but because we get to do our sweet and spicy truth game where we ask each other these uncomfortable questions and we have to give honest answers. So uh, let's get going today. Uh, Statman, you've got the first question, and who's it for and what kind of question is it? Oh, it's a spicy one, and okay. it's for Ashley. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Have you ever been ghosted? Perfect question for Ashley. I'm trying to remember, and I don't think so. You don't think you've been ghosted just a little bit? I. The only thing I can really, like, maybe relate that to is an ex-boyfriend. I'd call him, and we'd be in an argument, and he wouldn't answer his phone. Mm-hmm. But he, we would eventually talk. It's not like I've ever, you know, went to meet somebody or was having, like, a relationship with them online or and they just stopped. Or And then yeah. they just stopped. Yeah. No, never. Have happened. you ever ghosted someone yourself? I think I tell people straight up, but then if they don't get it and they're just like still hitting my phone, I don't reply. When but I try last... to tell them like, hey, I'm not interested or whatever. I have a man, whatever one. <laughs> I have a man. I have a man. <laughs> I have a man. <laughs> I got it to me, a man. So right, uh, please so, get out of my inbox. So no ghost for you. No. All right. Who's your question for? Mine's for Chelsea and it's also spicy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chelsea. I like when Chelsea gets a spicy because she gets uncomfortable. <laughs> and here we go. Can the right song put you in the mood immediately? The right song? The right song. Oh. Can the right song put you in the mood? Um, Come on. I'm going to say no. No. I've never, there's not, there's I've never not one, thought of that There's ever. not one song that makes you go, I might walk on over to Brad and steal a little kiss Ooh. right now. Nope. Sorry. Like, not sorry, Keith Urban. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, Seriously, okay. though, no, I've so, never even thought that. Not even, you said last week, uh, You're Everything by Keith Urban was your first dance song. So when you hear that, you don't think, I, I, Brad, what's he doing? I'm well, do you know it. how old that song is? <laughs> I don't hear it anymore. I was going to say, <laughs> what about Nelly? It's getting hot in here. Mm-hmm. So take off all your clothes. No? Okay. That doesn't yeah, get I, anybody I, in the I know, yeah. yeah, no. no. And the last that does the exact opposite. That actually, that actually makes Chelsea put on a winter coat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chelsea, you get to ask oh, now. Who's your question it for? It is for you. Oh, and it, okay. It's spicy, too. All right, what do you okay. got? Are we, A, living in the sexiest decade, or B, were people generally hotter in a past era? Oh, okay. well, let me see. I can break them down because in the 90s, well, let's go back. All right, I'll, I'll date myself a little bit. In the 70s, Farrah Fawcett, you know, I mean, come on. Yeah. Every kid, every guy my age, mm-hmm. it was Farrah Fawcett. In the 80s, okay, don't laugh at me, all right? Sheena Easton and Kelly LeBrock, who's a weird science. <laughs> that was Sheena oh, Easton. I don't think you were alone Sheena thinking Easton, that the, as the a guy str- from the, the 80s. Video, yes. Yeah. It's like, I don't even like this song, but I just want to watch this video in a Nancy Wilson from Heart, the blonde sister from yeah. Heart in oh, those man. videos. They show you just enough of her <laughs> to be like, oh, hey, we didn't have DVR back then or whatever. In the 90s, it was all Bridget Fonda. <laughs> I mean, uh, so I, get, I I don't know. Well, I'm just saying back then, I mean, laser hair removal and waxing wasn't a thing. Yeah, but that's not. I'm just <laughs> talking about, you know, like Bridget Fonda did it for me. I even had my, my Mustang convertible I named Bridget after Bridget Fonda. Well, oh, then it God. sounds like but, you think the older decade is the better looking. Well, I don't know. Well, what about now? Who is it now? Oh my gosh, who was I saying the other day? Uh, it's Lois Pete. from <laughs> Peter, Peter Griffin's wife. Yeah. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> that was a cartoon. Why do I always get these awkward <laughs> ones, man? <laughs> um, today, I, I you know, um, There's so many today. As long as they're real. The thing about today is all the butt injections, lip yeah, injections, like eyelashes out the wazoo. I don't look at that. I, I look at them when they're, you know, like, I, I guess, you know, somebody like Jessica Biel. You're always talking about Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis or yeah. Jennifer Garner. I think uh-huh. Jennifer Garner's. So Meg Kunis. on Family Guy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mila Kunis does the voice of Meg. Yeah. That's enough. But those are all 90s actresses. Yeah, so I guess. From a previous I day. guess so. Yeah. I guess I'm stuck there like a lot in of things the in the past there. Okay. Uh, final question is for Stat and the Sweet and Spicy <laughs> oh, Truth Ticket. Right. All right, Stat, if you could have a superpower, would you choose A, flying or B, invisibility? Oh, man. That's a tough one because both are very great. Uh, see, invisibility, though, can you turn it on and off? 
That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. You can put clothes on. And then well, like, yes. <laughs> I mean, it would be a power. I mean, you wouldn't always have to be flying if you had a flying power. <laughs> That's like, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm up here. Yeah, but I've seen the Invisible Man, and once he's invisible, he's stuck okay, that but, way. Okay, but this is as a superpower, not some industrial okay. accident. That- well, well, then I'll say invisibility, because I could be invisible and get on an airplane and fly. Oh, you know, uh, free. To fly I, I like but that. If you, could, if, you had, if you could fly, you could just fly. Yeah, but then I wouldn't be able to get free meals and oh, sneak all around. All about saving money. I love yeah. that his go-to was sneak on an airplane, too. Not, you know, go into a bank and sneak into the vault and right. take some money. Well, or... I'd be flying down to Fort Knox. Okay, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Do you honestly think, though, I mean, we love Stat more than anything in the world. He is the the noisiest person on the planet. <laughs> there is no hands. way very loud. you would not hear him as an invisible person. He'd never get away with Why it. Why did that chair just fall over? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> spilling yeah. coffee. People will be seeing ghosts left and right. Like, yeah. I heard that. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like somebody with size 14 shoes just walked by. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a sweet and spicy truth game uh, for this Friday, May the 21st. Let's- this is the Big Dave Podcast. Wow, it's summer. Yeah, it is. And, uh, well, it's a weekend and it's great weather to head out to our favorite Tri-State Double Drive in the Big Bone Lick. See what's playing out at the Big Bone Lick there. Let's have them. Thank you and good day, friends. Thank you for calling the Big Bone Lick Double Drive-In. Where We're going to need some of y'all to get some serious dental work done before we lift our mask requirements. <laughs> Street one. Right now, run. All right. First, it was who wants to be a millionaire. Then it was who wants to marry a millionaire. And now the Discovery Channel has taken it to the next natural level with... Who wants to be an astronaut? <laughs> yep. They got a reality show where the winner gets to go to space for eight days and live on the International Space Station. Only problem, NASA heard about this and said, you're going to do what? <laughs> Turns out somebody forgot to get the approval of the people who actually own the space station, and the whole show is being put on hold. If you thought 2020 was stupid, this year says, hold my tang. (laughs) The Odyssey is long gone when you watch 2021, A Space Idiocy. (laughs) Screen 2, right now running. They're the talk of the town right now, and after 17 years underground, they're coming back and ready to party, and this time, it's personal. It seems something went awry in the soil, and Brood 10 is really ticked off. Not content to just come out, bump insect uglies, and then keel over. (laughs) These normally harmless guys have only one thing on their mind, and it's murder. And they begin savagely swarming anybody who gets in their way. Woo-wee! Mmm, doggies! You better let George Clooney know that them tomatoes were nothing compared to these guys. Don't miss... Attack of the Killer Cicadas. <laughs> okay. Where we always say, let's do it. Cover yes, you are, but stay, stay in your car. car. Please, with your windows rolled up, you will be attacked by cicadas. Yeah, a killer cicadas. This is the Big Dave Podcast. B105, the Big Dave Show. Yesterday, uh, we played this call to our What the Hell line, 699-4423. Uh, from a B105 listener named Amanda, who had won Luke Bryan tickets for last year's show from B105, and the show was postponed over and over, and it's finally happening now uh, on July 22nd. When she won the tickets from us, she was seeing a guy at the time. They had just kind of started dating, and since the show was postponed, everything they, they've broken up. They haven't talked in months. But now that the show is officially rescheduled and she still has the tickets, he calls her and wants to... <laughs> Wonder is like, hey, are we still going to the show together? What? You guys have a million opinions on this because Amanda doesn't know what to do. I mean, this is super awkward. And uh, this call from Dina yesterday pretty much summed it up. Yeah, he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call him and tell him he's not going. You want to do the call for? Her? Yeah, tell her I'll call him for. Her. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Honey, he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dina. 
Thank you. So that's what Dina had to say, but we just kept getting more calls about people <laughs> wanting to help out Amanda and her Luke Bryan ex-boyfriend ticket problem. And uh, Monica uh, starts us off here. What do you got? I'm friends with Dina right now. Like, You think I'm- he's an idiot? Yes. <laughs> 100%. And I really do want to call him. I'll confront him. I'm not afraid. Oh. All right, so you think he's a, a real dirtbag for doing that? I mean, not dirtbag, but he's an idiot. <laughs> They're not together anymore. Any future plans are done. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. COVID or not. Yeah, I hope he's listening. Monica, thanks for the call. Bye. All right, Steve, what do you think? Have her tell her ex-boyfriend that she was so broken up over their parting that she gave the two tickets away to somebody. Oh. oh. He's not going to go. So he won't know that she's going. <laughs> she can take whoever she wants. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve. Appreciate it. No problem. All right, Cassie, what do you think? All right, here's what I would do. First, I would laugh at him and look, and look at him and say, like, really now? Uh, we're not a couple no more. That's when I thought we was a couple. Since we ain't a couple no more, no. Nah. <laughs> Just no. Sorry, honey. I, you know, I don't think so. Are you that dang on stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Cassie. All right. All right, Diana, what do you think Amanda should do? I will be more than happy to call Amanda's ex-boyfriend for her, and I'll even give her an excuse. She can take her new friend, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. You can keep on weighing in at uh, 699-4423. That's our Big Dave Show What the Hell Liner. If you've got a problem of your own, you need some advice from because our B105 listeners are not shy on giving it to not you. Not at all. 699-4423. It's the Waffle House of phone lines. It's always open. This is the Big Dave Podcast. It's me. And this morning, we've got Trisha from Trenton, Ohio, ready to go all in for Aldi. Win them before you can buy them tickets to see Jason Aldean at Riverbend. So, uh, Trisha, you're on your way to work this morning? Yes. Where is that? Um, at a doctor's office. Oh, boy. They're going to so not like what you're about to do. <laughs> you're going to stuff something in your mouth and sing your favorite Jason Aldean song. And, Trisha, what, what do you have you're going to use this morning? A ding-dong. <laughs> 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 yes, a hostess ding dong. And what song will you be serenading with us with this morning? Um, Big Green Tractor. Okay, okay. All right. All right. here is Trisha from Trenton, Ohio, shoving a ding dong in her mouth, ready to sing Jason Aldean. She's going all in for Aldean. Let's do it, Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Oh, that ding dong dog. Here we go. <laughs> Trisha, you got a pair of women before you can buy in Pavilion Seas to see Jason Aldean with Lady Wilson at Riverbend coming up Thursday, August 12th. Thank you. All righty. You, you at least great. have one ding dong left for uh, to actually enjoy later? <laughs> no, I do not. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> hey, we'll see you at the show, girl. Ding dongs are on us. Thank you. This is the Big Dave Podcast. B105, the Big Dave Show. There is big doings this afternoon with Jesse Tack on the five. At 525. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse Tag joins us right now. Unbelievable that people are still stuck on question number four in the five at 525. This country artist says their favorite type of liquor is tequila. No one can get the correct answer, Mm. Jesse. What is the jackpot this afternoon, my friend? $1,750. Oh, my God. See, you add $10 to it every day. Somebody doesn't get it. And they've been stuck on question number four since last August? Uh, September 18th. Okay, you know the day. Oh, wow. I should remember that. It's my son Darren's birthday, September 18th. I'll never (laughs) forget that now. This is the highest jackpot in the five at 525 history? It's the highest by over $200. Oh, man. My goodness, and it just oh. keeps growing. So much so that you still, if you answer question number four, you still got to get number five right. And, of course, you had to get one through three right to get to number four. 
you've got an incentive now, all these incentives for the person who just answers question number four right so you can move on to five. Yeah, people are getting very angry, Dave, and we, <laughs> we're trying to calm people down and also incentivize to get to that fifth question. So I have a major announcement about an incentive that has been added to the already Ooh. pile that we have. All right, because you've got the, the incentive jar full of money. And I put a $5 bill in it yesterday. Ashley, what did yeah. you just add to it? I added one of my profile by Sanford shakes to it. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> Fantastic. Well, the jar's got about $6.91 in it. We've got a Brett Young signed baseball and a Graders gift card is in there as well. But now our friends at Kroger are throwing in $100. Oh, All right. Wow. All right. And this is just for the person that answers question number four correctly, finally. Correctly is the key word in that sentence, Dave. Yeah, oh, they can take man. that uh, Kroger gift card and head on over to Kroger Liquor, get their own tequila. There you go, you do that. <laughs> well, this is just, uh, I mean, this is great. So a $100 Kroger gift card, but, I mean, uh, the people keep answering the same, using the same answer for question number four, and hopefully soon, uh, process of elimination, people are going to go, well, it's not George Strait, <laughs> it's not Joe Nichols, but people keep saying them. Uh, well, I think what happens is when you start having this much money, people are Googling the question for the first time. And I think George Strait might be the first result. So, yes, let's uh, eliminate George, not George, uh, Dan and Shay, no Joe Nichols. I will give a rare hint, <gasps> sort of, uh -oh. uh, maybe a tip I would call this. Oh, we get a tip? If, if, if you need help, go to our Facebook page and look at the comments. Okay. Oh. Of the post about the five at 525, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. You were supposed to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, this afternoon with Jesse Tack, $1,750 jackpot if you answer all five correctly. If you just get the first four correctly, you're going to get a $100 Kroger gift card, a little bit of money in a mason jar, a Brett Young baseball, a profile by Sanford Shake from oh, Ashley. Correct. Come on, that's a blatant plug. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll add in Great. some snappy tomato pizza bucks. Well, then, then <laughs> stuff one in there. Stop yeah, yeah. Do it right now. Put a, put a, you know, a, a snappy and, and then a Grader's gift card. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to up the ante. Jesse Tag this afternoon, it's the five. At, At five twenty-five. Take us home, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Big Dave Podcast. Good vibes this morning coming off of YouTube, and that's where you can find the wildly popular Dad How Do I uh, channel. And, and this thing is really taken off. It now has over 3.3 million subscribers wow. just to the channel. And uh, the man behind it, Rob Kinney, uh, well, let's just say last year when the pandemic began, he kind of started a mission to become the Internet's dad. Uh, when you have a question, maybe your dad's not around. Dad, how do I fix this pipe? How do, how, Dad, how do I clean out the gutters? How do I do anything? I mean, he covers a wide array of uh, topics on there and kind of shows you little tutorials and gives you advice along the way. It's a really fun oh. follow, obviously, if 3.3 million people are following <laughs> it. A little story about Rob Kinney. You might not know, well, why is he doing this? Just to be another famous person on the Internet? No, he's not. He sat down with the Today Show and told them why he is doing what he does. You know, I think the reason my channel went viral was because of the pandemic. It was kind of a perfect storm, the pandemic. And then my backstory of my dad uh, leaving when I was 14, I went to live with my brother and his wife, who were 23 and 24. And, you know, that's pretty young. <laughs> it's, it, at the time, it seemed old that they were older, but, you know, I looked you know, as a 23 year old's a pretty young person, that, but they stepped up and, and took me in. So I had to learn a lot of things the hard way. So I think that's why my, my channel resonated, I think, with people. So Rob says, you know, when he was young, after his father left, uh, him and his older brother, who was, like he said, 23, that's not that old at that point, had to figure out things on their own, how to tie a tie, unclog a drain, and basically just succeed in life. And that's why he started this. Rob would go on to add that he wants to help kids learn the life lessons that are not taught in school, especially those without a father. He's here for you to teach you how 
to maybe fix a faucet or possibly just jumpstart a car. Oh, cool. I mean, he's covering it all in a very <laughs> fun nature. I have been called the Internet dad. It's not a title I give myself, but, you know, I wanted to try to encourage people. You know, my big, my big point is I want to encourage, empower, and edify. I don't want to be the hero in the story. I want to walk alongside you. And then I have dad chats, you know, where I try to walk alongside and talk like a dad would to somebody. So I think that's the difference. It absolutely is. And uh, Rob Kinney, thank you uh, for the good vibes and, and keep the YouTube channel going, my B- friend. B105. This is the Big Dave Podcast. It's the Big Dave Show. Dad joke of the day on B105. And this morning we've got Carrie from Monroe. She's a mother of two, ready to give us that dad joke of the day to send us off into this beautiful weekend. Carrie, you're on deck. Let's swing that bat. What do you got? Did you guys hear about the mechanic that was addicted to drinking brake fluid? <laughs> no. We did not hear about, about the, the mechanic, mechanic that was addicted, addicted to drinking brake fluid. They said he could stop at any time. Carrie, thank you so much for the giggle this morning and have a great weekend there in Monroe. Thanks, you guys too. This is the Big Dave Podcast. B105, the Big Dave Show, Friday phone hack flashback time, and uh, we've got Sarah here. Sarah's got one she wants to hear. Which one is it? I want to hear the phone hack with um, Dane Maynard where um, he gets to go to the Cincinnati Zoo to, like, feed the snakes and he freaks out. Okay, yeah. So we had Thane Maynard in the studio from the Cincinnati Zoo, <laughs> yeah. and we had, I think the guy's wife is on the phone with us, too. And we called her husband, who's deathly afraid of snakes. <laughs> and Thane told him he won zookeeper for the day and gets to feed all the snakes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know what, Sarah? He freaked out hard. Yeah, it's hilarious. I love it. All right. Well, let's do it. Yes, it's a Friday phone act flashback for you, Sarah. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. Hello. Hello. It's a Big Dave Friday phone hack flashback on B105. Hello. Who is this? Hi, hello. All right, so this is really a, a big treat on this phone hack today because joining us on the phone, we have Miranda. Good morning, Miranda. Good morning. And Miranda, you had written in saying you wanted us to tell your husband, Carl, that you were getting a pet snake because he hates snakes, right? Yes, he is completely petrified. And I thought, well, let's do one better and see if we can get our friends at the Cincinnati Zoo to bring Thane Maynard over for help help on this. Good morning, Thane. Hi, Miranda. This is going to be fun. I think we're going to get your husband excited to volunteer as the keeper of the day at the zoo. (laughs) Especially at what house there? That's right, in our reptile house. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm we've got so to call excited. him first. So he's going to freak out. Now, we're going to tell him that you registered for this through B105. So we're going to tell him he's on the air and everything else from the get go. He's at home right now, right? Yes, he is actually upstairs. He's upstairs. So should we call him or should you just put him on the phone or put him on uh, speaker or what? I can put him on the phone. I could run up there and be like, babe, you won. I put you in a contest. And, yeah, yeah, tell him yeah. B105. That's good. That way we don't have yeah. to worry about him not answering or anything. So let's get him okay. on there. And his name is Carl, and he really hates snakes, Thane. Okay. Just so you know that. Okay, like so everybody Indiana get Jones. your game face on. Here we go. <laughs> tell us when he's ready. Okay. Babe, B105 just called. You won the contest I entered you in. Yeah, you did. Uh, Carl? Yes. Hey, Carl, this is Big Dave, Chelsea, and Stat. We just talked to Miranda. We wanted to call and congratulate you. Yeah. 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 We've got a special guest here in the studio with us to, for the contest you won. Perhaps you've heard of Thane Maynard from the Cincinnati Zoo is here. Say hey, Thane. Carl, how are you? Congratulations on your big win. Thank you. So you have no idea what the, what Miranda entered you in, do you? <laughs> no. She entered you in a big contest with B105 and the Cincinnati Zoo. And uh, Thane, go ahead and tell Carl what he gets to do. Well, Carl, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You get to be keeper for a day on feeding day in the Cincinnati Zoo Reptile House. And that's when you <laughs> feed dangerous snakes. You'll feed the green mamba. You'll feed the giant river cobra. You'll feed the giant Burmese python, which could swallow your leg. And you'll have a neat opportunity to hold these snakes as well as to feed them rats and bunnies. No. What, what, no. What do you mean, no? This is a great opportunity. I'd love to do this. Yeah. You do it. (laughs) What's this all about, Carl? Snakes. I ain't doing it. 
<laughs> but, you Carl, know, I'm not kidding. We have professionals. What we do is we have long snake hooks. They're like a golf club with a hook on the end, and you pick the snake up, and it's only it's, it's like three feet away from you, so it's not dangerous. Think you could do that, Carl? Uh, no. You couldn't do it? No. You don't want to do it? No. Carl? <laughs> yeah. Are you hyperventilating? No. So you're saying you, you don't like snakes? No. We have a big no. snake here in the studio. We have a python from Africa. I just came back from Africa, and I, I saw these. And uh, we'll send you a picture of that. That would give you an idea. You know, holding it, you could get to hold it, too. Right. Carl, is this something that you'd be interested in, or should we draw another name? You draw another name. <laughs> you sure oh, about that? This is rare. This never happens. I'm sure. I don't like any type of snake. I don't care if they're alive, dead, big, small, nothing. So why did Miranda enter you into this contest if you don't like snakes? Because I'm pretty sure it's a phone hack. <laughs> <laughs> it is a phone no, hack! You're hoping it's a phone hack. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Carl, and Thane Maynard coming yeah. in with a phone hack here. Yeah, it was fun. Carl, don't worry. Next time you come to the zoo, the snakes will all be a safe distance. <laughs> I hope so. No. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, though. Thane feels a little bad because Thane is one of the nicest guys in the yeah. world. And he wants to give you and Miranda a four-pack of tickets to come be his guests at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens. How does that sound? That's awesome. And you don't have to go into the reptile house. <laughs> yeah. You just walk sure. around. You can, you can skirt right past it, Thane. That's right. No snake handling. That sounds great. All right, all right, there you go. Carl, thanks. Thank you. I forgot how fun that one was. Thank you uh, to Sarah for reminding us. This is the Big Dave Podcast. It's just in college of Hollywood knowledge. Can somebody take her down? And this morning, we've got Jimmy from Fort Thomas. She's ready to grab $100 of Chelsea's money. Is all of this correct, Jenny? It is indeed, yes. Yeah. How are you feeling about your chances? I'm excited. I think I can do this. Okay. Oh, I like that. Oh, nice. All right. Well, here we go, Jenny. we got five pop culture questions. Get more right than Chelsea. You win. If she gets more right than you, she wins all ties. Go to Chelsea. She has an overall record of 1,773 wins against 20 losses, a 72-game winning streak. You're playing for a hundred bucks of her money. And if you end up tying five out of five, we'll still give you $50 and snap it's made of pizza bucks. Good luck, Jimmy. Come on, honey. Okay, I am ready. Okay, Chelsea's getting out of here. Question number one, coming your way, Jenny. Good luck. Uh, we pity the fool that doesn't wish this A-team and Rocky three-star a happy 69th birthday today. Who is he? Mr. T. Question number two, Nick Jonas hosts the Billboard Music Awards on NBC this Sunday night. What 2017 smash movie did Jonas play the character Jefferson Seaplane McDonough in? Uh, Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. Question number three. The Amazon show Solos hit screens this weekend. One of the episodes features the actress who played Catwoman in The Dark Knight Rises. Who is she? Uh, Halle Berry. Question number four. The second Star Wars movie, The Empire Strikes Back, premiered 41 years ago today. Three years later, the third one was released. What was it called? Um, I don't remember. Okay, final question. The new Netflix movie, Army of the Dead, streams today. It's directed by Zack Snyder and stars the man who plays Drax in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Who is he? Um, Bautista, David Bautista. All righty. Good job. Let's All get right. Chelsea back in here right now. And, Jenny, it gave me a chill that you got that last one right because yeah. that's awesome. How did she do, Stat? Three out of five. Three oh, out of five. Yeah. All right. Chelsea's going to get the same questions. We're wishing you good luck. Okay, Jenny? Thank you. Okay, Chelsea, here we go. Uh, we pity the fool that doesn't wish this A-team and Rocky three-star a happy 69th birthday today. Who is he? Mr. T. Side at one. Nick Jonas hosts the Billboard Music Awards on NBC this Sunday night. What 2017 smash movie did Jonas play the character Jefferson Seaplane McDonough in? Oh, uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I did too. The Amazon show Solos hit screens today. One of the episodes features the actress who played Catwoman in The Dark Knight Rises. Who is she? Um, Anne Hathaway. Not Halle Berry. You got oh. her there, Dave. Yeah, well, Halle Berry played Catwoman in a separate movie. Mm -hmm. The second Star Wars movie, The Empire Strikes Back, premiered 41 years ago today. Three years later, the third one was released. What was it called? Return of the Jedi. 
Order to. Oh, man. Yeah. Final question. The new Netflix movie Army of the Dead streams today. It's directed by Zack Snyder and stars the man who plays Drax in the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Who is he? Oh, um, gosh, I have to say his name right. Dave um, Bautista. Dang it. Five to three. Oh, no. Jenny, we were pulling for you, but she <laughs> took you down this morning. That's all right. It was worth the fight. Yeah, well, take that walk of shame, girl. I will. I'm Jenny from Fort Thomas, and I flunked out of Chelsea's Hollywood Knowledge of College. Oh, that's all right. You flunked out of doing that. <laughs> no, no. You know what you were trying to say. Sorry, Have a great guys. weekend, Jenny. Thanks. Thanks for checking out the Big Dave Podcast, B105.com.